final weekend before the All-Star break as we welcome you to downtown Houston for the first of three against the New York Yankees who have not been in town since the 2019 American League Championship Series. You've got DJ LeMahieu leading off at first base, followed by Aaron Judge in right field. Gary Sanchez is the catcher, batting third. Giancarlo Stanton is the DH. The Yankees are two games over 500, and tonight they'll face Jake Odorizzi. Veteran right-hander making his 10th start of the season. Plenty of experience facing this Yankees lineup. Ground ball towards the middle. Robel Garcia getting a start at short with Carlos Correa placed on the injured list today, and Garcia makes the first play of the night sharply hit past Garcia in the left field Astros had judge shifted to the left side but he found a hole between Altuve and Robel Garcia as he hits one over the head of Toro in the left field Brantley over quickly and he will keep Aaron judge at second base in fact he throws behind the big man ground ball towards short Robel Garcia to Altuve for one Altuve turns the double play Odorizzi, a couple of hits allowed, gets the double play to get out of the first. At the top of the lineup, a dozen career home runs against the Yankees. Miles Straw moves up to the two spot. Michael Brantley. It's going to be a bullpen day for the New York Yankees. Left-handed pitcher, usually out of their bullpen, is Nestor Cortez. He has one start. That was a previous outing for him. Altuve tries to bunt. First base side, LeMahieu. He's called out for going out of the baseline. Seriously? I don't think I've ever heard that. He was still able to reach the bag. He's given up several home runs. Ground ball to short, played by Glaber Torres. Brantley in the center field, coming on Brett Gardner. He will catch it around waist high for the final out of the inning. Ryan Presley for those guys to close out games, and they've stepped up in a lot of situations. But if the Astros starters are able to go deep, it usually means they're pitching extremely well, which is great because it sets up the offense. Swing and a miss. Odorizzi picks up his first strikeout. This ball hit into right center field. That falls for a hit, so. Four singles tonight for Jake Odorizzi, two in each inning. Into center field. Straw moves back a little bit to his right, makes the catch. Bluffing at second base is Torres. And that's two outs in the inning. Owen oh, sent into left field. Shallow coming in. Brantley out goes Robel Garcia. Michael will put it away for the final out of the inning. That was the first one he ever hit. We saw him go into Yankee Stadium and take a J-half fastball well off the inside corner out to left field. Man. Cortez dropping down against Jordan, who hits the ball hard, but at the second baseman, Rugnet Odor. Ball hit well to right center field. That's going to be all the way to the wall, and that'll jump over the wall on one bounce. Automatic double for Kyle Tucker. He's a two-out base runner for the Astros. Sends that one into right center field. Long run for Aaron Judge. He'll get there as the ball slices to him in right for the final out of the inning. Into center field. Straw will move to his left and put it away. I think Jake wants a certain pitch here at three and two. He shook Castro to get to this pitch. And he gets a ground ball on two hops to Abraham Toro. His throw is high, but with Sanchez running, time for Yuli Gurriel to get back on the bag. That'll do it for the Yankees in the third. Up and away, ball four. Garcia draws a one out walk. Swings and sends a high fly ball to straightaway center field. Brett Gardner backs up a step or two. Robel Garcia will tag, but not head to second. And there's two away. Straw gets into one towards left field, but Tyler Wade back there in front of the track will put it away for the final out of the inning. Swing and in foul tip caught by Jason Castro on a high fastball. Jake Odorizzi has picked up his second strikeout of the that night. ball hit hard, and that's a base hit to left field. Brantley getting over quickly. Glaber Torres is two for two. He came into this game six for his last 30. Broken bat towards Altuve to second for one. Garcia not quite in time. Tough one to turn. Rugnetto Dor didn't hit it all that well as he broke his bat. He'll reach on the fielder's choice. Line drive off of Odorizzi's glove. 
He slides and will not have a play. He was really hustling to get to that ball after it deflected off his glove, but when it was unable to make the play in time. There's a line drive, base hit in right field. That'll score one run. Heading to third, Urshela, he'll be waved around, and he will score. The throw goes into second, and the Yankees will take a two to nothing lead. Swing and a miss, picks up a strikeout to end the inning. Strikeout to start the inning, strikeout to end the inning, but in between, three base hits and a couple of runs. Gets Brantley on a high fastball. Michael will be a little frustrated when he sees where that 3 1 pitch was. This one slowly hit. Odor is going to give way to the shortstop, Torres, who will bare hand, and his throw gets by DJ LeMahieu. Nice job by Jordan getting down the line to make it a tough play. As he sends one high in the air to center field, playable for Brett Gardner. Puts it away for the final out of the inning. Infield hit by Jordan Alvarez. One man left on base. Tonight he's working with no outs in the fifth at 82 pitches. For the third time, LeMahieu hits a ground ball, this time to the shortstop, Robel Garcia. Pop up will stay in play. Yuli gives it a look. Tucker from right. It is Kyle Tucker down to a knee on that towering pop up. Tucker had to go a long way to retire Aaron Judge for the second out. His relief appearance. Toro goes down swinging. Nestor Cortez picks up his second strikeout. Wow. Four pitch walk. There must be a repellent to run the strike zone. Left hander out of that bullpen will make his 33rd appearance. His whip is at 1.15, respectable ERA at 3.46. Got him with the breaking ball. Swinging strike on the curveball as Lipke picks up a strikeout out of the bullpen. On the splitter. That ball hit hard. Michael Brantley will move to his left and catch that line drive from John Carlos Stanton. He's always. Swing and a miss. He tried to hold up on a fastball up. Jake gets through six. He's over 100 pitches and picks up his fourth strikeout. Odorizzi allowing a couple of runs tonight in six innings. Ground ball and two hops. Stays down on Torres, but he makes the strong throw to get the fast mile straw. Ground ball to third. Glove there by Urshela. Throw across in time. Lucas Litke, very good, has retired. From injury and from Sugarland, did a good job that last time out, as you see the numbers overall this season in 22 games. And Abreu loses Gardner on a five pitch walk to the regular season for the 22 year old. This time, Wade sends one the other way. Shift was on, and the left side was wide open. Wade heading to second to throw a little bit late. Yankees will have second and third with one out. As Tyler Wade bounces a double down the left field line. That's hit hard down the left field line. That'll be off the wall. Two runs will score. Brantley will try and track it down. It bounces all the way to Robel Garcia. Two RBI double by LeMahieu. And he wins that 10 pitch battle to make it a 4 0 game. Way outside with a slider, and LeMahieu was off with a pitch. Picks up an easy steal, his third of the year. Sharply hit. Great diving stop by Toro. He gets up to throw a little bit wide. Safe at first is Aaron Judge. Yuli's going to go back and tag him just in case the first base umpire, Corey Blazer, deems that he made a turn towards second. Yuli continues to watch LeMahieu, and Blazer says safe at first. It was a great diving stop by Toro, and then the throw pulled Yuli off the bag. No, you're right. It was a phenomenal play for him to lay out and knock that down. Gave a look at that runner at third base. Review runner out of the base path. It's not really listed, but I think it may fall into the same category as runner out of the base path, and if it does, you're not allowed to review that. Broken bat. Garcia will shovel to Altuve. He has time with Sanchez running for the double play. Nice job by Brandon Belag, who pumps his fist into his glove as he gets out of a first and third one out situation with a double play. 35 games this season. He has had to come in and get a save in his last outing. And Jordan goes down on a 96 mile an hour fastball. 
Tucker into center field, sending Gardner back, still going back. He'll look up. This ball's off the top of the wall. Kyle Tucker into second base, his second double of the night. In that manner, as Toro sends one to right field, Odor out, Judge in, Aaron calls off Rugned. Toro retired for the second out. There's a line drive at the first baseman LeMahieu for the final out of the inning. Castro hit it well on an 0-2 pitch, but he lines out. Oh yeah, beautiful. Got him swinging on the cutter on the 1-1 pitch. Then he took that slider way off the plate, and Torres couldn't resist. Ball just over the head of Jose Altuve. Even with the shift, Odor beats it as he drops it in between Altuve and Tucker for a two-out base hit. That ball hit high in the air to center field, playable for Miles Straw. And Brandon Belak with a shutout eighth inning. He's done a nice job in an inning and two thirds out of the bullpen. Takes a called strike with a breaking ball there, and Garcia goes down looking on the ground towards Glaber Torres. The shortstop throws low, and a nice pick by DJ LeMahieu to end the inning. Tapper nice jumping play by Belak makes the toss to Yuli Gurriel line drive single another two strike hit for DJ LeMahieu only had five hits tonight against the A's but won the game three to two there's a base hit to the left that's a dozen hits for the Yankees Michael Brantley will play it off the wall judge is going to head to second and LeMahieu to third cut her away and see if he can't get him to chase off the edge there you go fastball by him nice job Brandon Belak <laughs> <laughs> trying to compete with Calvin Murphy Jonathan Luizaga seven and three on the season throws extremely hard first pitch he just saw 99 on the ground Odor to his left LeMahieu gets back to the bag and Luizaga picks up an out on Brantley two straight games Yuli who had two hits last night now 0 for 4 tonight he's a grounds one to Rugnet Odor and there's two quick outs in the ninth in a while the 100 mile an hour fastball dots up the inside corner and the Yankees do pick up a shutout tonight. They haven't had a shutout since late in May but they use four pitchers to combine on a three hit shutout of the Astros to take game one of this three game series. 